Where is Brian Laundry? He's been on the run for at least three weeks now, and so far law enforcement doesn't seem to be any closer to catching him. Of course, thousands of tips have been called in, emailed in to the FBI, the police, John Walsh, and even Dog the Bounty Hunter. And there have been hundreds of possible sightings of him, but nothing definitive so far. Why has it been so difficult to track this young man down? Is it that he's such a cunning outdoorsman that he's been able to stay off the grid and avoid detection? Or more likely, has he changed his appearance just enough that he's mostly unrecognizable? Like, would you recognize him if, say, he was 15 pounds lighter? What if he shaved his beard? What if he was wearing a disguise? How would you be able to spot this fairly nondescript looking guy then? For that, I'm joined by Lois Gibson. She worked as a forensic artist for the Houston Police Department since 1989. Her sketches have helped law enforcement identify more than a thousand suspects, and she's in the Guinness Book of World Record as the most successful forensic artist. Okay, so Lois, I want to just go through the photographs that you've created, basically as a one by one. So let's start with, it's been a month or so. Uh, I want you to show me what he might look like with a month's worth of hair growth, maybe lightened if he's had a chance to buy some bleach in a drugstore and go into a gas station and use bleach on his hair right. and beard. Like, what, what can you show me? Okay, Ashley, here's what I've got. I've got my opinion, having worked murders for 39 years. This is what I think it would do. Now, if you want to think of him not shaving, then he's so easily recognizable. He has, like, super distinctive facial hair. It's incredibly distinctive. So if I were him, I would shave. But if he shaves, he looks more different as a shaved man, way different than when he's wearing facial hair. But I went to dental school. He's got unusual dentition. Here he is like I think he's going to be. He's going to have too much sun. I've had him lose weight. But his maxillary lateral incisor kicks out a little bit right here. So the bottom edge of his teeth which you're going to notice if it's somebody you've seen in high school, 50 years later at the reunion, you're going to recognize these teeth, very recognizable. And also the center line is switched, so his teeth go that way. It's just unusual. It's not ugly, but it's distinctive. So there's my version. The number one item that I found criminals use for a disguise is a ball cap. So there's a ball cap, and then I have ball cap, and I have sunglasses, hello, the second most popular is to have sunglasses. So this is it. So up on the, if he didn't okay, shave, the, you all re realize what he looks like here. That's my opinion. Yeah, is the one? I, it's hard for me to tell in the light, but is the one up on the top right, uh, high up on the right-hand corner of the easel, is that blonde or is that just a light hitting it in a weird way? No, you're absolutely right. I made him be blonde. It's been less than a month, so your hair on Can your you hold head it up grows. higher? Just, just hold it up higher in the middle of the easel so uh, we can I'm sorry. see it. A third of an inch hold a month. Hold it up a little higher if you can. Please, Is... Lois, we can't see it. There you go. Okay, your hair grows a third of an inch a month. So I did say I think he would bleach it, a real cheap bleach from a, a convenience store. And so he's got bleached one third of an inch hair. So that's it. I mean, that, that uh, but if he has that facial hair, you're going to recognize him. And I believe he will always wear a ball cap because the criminals with which I've worked, they're going to wear ball caps. I can't tell you Can how I sick you I am question? after 39 when years I, of ball caps. Yeah, Lois, when I saw uh, Scott Peterson do a really bad bleach job on his hair, it, it made me think he didn't know how to do it. And it also made me think that your, you know, the hair on your head will bleach at a different rate than, say, your eyebrows or your facial hair. And it kind of yes. came out orange. Yes. Would, is that the same? Is it, like, what is the <laughs> issue with facial hair? These men might not be smart enough to realize how the Clairol works. Oh. Oh, some people love their mustache. Some men folk love their mustache or their beard so much they don't shave it, even though they've killed four people. But also, I got a guy pulled in, Michael Brazier from Arkansas. He had murdered uh, Lisa Don Hogue in Houston. So when they found him, he had bleached his goatee and his mustache. Or you're right, like you said, orange. You're right. Now that you've hit really bad bleach, bleach job, but he did his eyebrows too, which was thorough, and he became morbidly obese. And he was in a trailer park, so he tried his best, but they found him. My drawing looked like him, but without the bleached facial hair. So you got to be a good guesser at this work. I've been able to guess hair on skulls, and all it is is a bone. It's a skull. And I've gotten the hair right every time except for once. 
the color, the style even. It's crazy. So this is my guess on Brian Laundry. With the suntan and, and 10 pounds lighter, that's that's what he would look like. Lois, thank you for that. As we go into this story, and it, you know the weeks become months, we're going to keep coming to you for how the changes might, you know, appear going into the winter months, etc. And you know, being on the road that much longer, maybe losing that much more weight. Uh, Lois Gibson, thank you. Appreciate that.